champions. I'm Aishwarya and today we are going to be finding the answer to a very interesting question. That is, what if food did not come from plants? Now we know that food is the fuel that drives our body and we know that plants are organisms that prepare their own food. So let's find the answer to this particular question and let's get started with a very simple example. Now I want you to have a look here and tell me what do you see on the screen? Well, we see that this right here is a cute looking panda and the panda is feeding on some food as you can see. Now, did you know that pandas were once considered to be endangered species? Well, right now, of course, giant pandas are no longer endangered and they're now considered to be vulnerable. But what do we mean by this term endangered, right? What are endangered species? Now, you see, endangered species are those species or those organisms that are at a risk of vanishing, or that means they may no longer exist in the long run or what we call as on the verge of becoming extinct. And pandas were once an example of endangered species. But we also see that some other examples include red panda, Bengal tiger and of course we have the rhinoceros. So these are some examples of endangered species. But how is all this related to what if food did not come from plants, right? How is all this related? Well, for that, we must find out the reason as to why pandas were once considered to be endangered, right? And to understand this particular concept, we need to have a good understanding about what is food chain, right? Now, I know this might come across as a slightly tough concept, but don't worry, it's going to be very simple, right? So when we talk about food chain, right, it is the order of events, or I can say it is a linear or straight order of events wherein one organism will feed or on an other organism because it is food for that, right? So let's take the example here. We have plants, right? And we know that plants are those organisms that prepare their own food. Yes, and it is not dependent on any other organism for food. So green plants especially do photosynthesis and they make their own food. But we know that sometimes the grains that are there from these plants might be fed on some by some other animals, right? So we have animals such as deers which may eat the plant as it is. Or we have a chicken here which may feed on the grains that are there. So here as you can see the chicken or you could say even deers are dependent on plants and of course we have various other animals who are dependent on plants for food because that is their source of food, right? Now we have some other animals that may not eat the plant directly, right? So we have tigers which may feed on the deer or in this case we have human beings or some human beings who may feed on the chicken. So this is what we mean by a food chain, right? Wherein one organism here is feeding on another organism. Now, what about the pandas? What do they eat, right? That is the interesting question that we need to ask ourselves. Now, pandas are very interesting creatures because they primarily and only feed on bamboo shoots. And they live in forests wherein these bamboo shoots are there. And sadly, these pandas don't have the ability to survive anywhere else. They need that kind of an environment, right? Now, what happened eventually was that this source of food was getting affected, right? And that is what eventually led to the population of pandas decreasing. But at the same time, because it's a food chain and we know that one organism is dependent on another, some animals like snow leopards were dependent on pandas because in the nature they would hunt them down and they would be food for the snow leopards. So eventually what started happening was as man started to cut down these bamboo forests that were there, we see that the population of the bamboo plants started to reduce, right? The number became less. And if the number becomes less, that means that food for the panda is not much now. It's become very little, which eventually meant that the pandas were finding it hard to survive, which is why their numbers started to decrease. And now we know panda is food for the snow leopard, right? 
which means that the number of pandas are reducing then what will happen it is affecting the food and the snow leopards are also getting affected now which means that now the number of snow leopards were also slightly decreasing which means if you see directly or indirectly all animals are dependent on plants for food right and we see that it is important that plants are available and in this case we saw that as the number of plants were decreasing the population of pandas were also decreasing and this disrupts the balance that is there in the environment so in this case when we ask ourselves this question right what if plants were not there we know that this would ultimately disrupt balance because we know that all organisms are directly or indirectly dependent on plants for for food and we see that if plants disappear we might not be able to survive either and that goes for all animals right and we see that it disrupts the entire system that is there so of course i hope now you've got the answer and i hope you did like what we have shared just with you now for those of you who are watching this video for the first time we do have a telegram community wherein we post updates about such sessions and more right so the link will be there in the description box then of course you can explore more with byju's and try out the byju's classes wherein you will have a deeper understanding about all of your academic concepts this of course is part of the 6 to 8 channel where we have always got you covered So please do show us your love by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and subscribing to our channel. You also have some free trial classes that are there in the description box. Do check it out. Thank you so much for watching this. Hope you really liked it. Hoping to see you very soon again. Bye bye and have a nice day.